Look y'all, when it comes to saving money, penny pinching is not how you do it. If you actually wanna maximize your results and save some ridiculous amounts of money, you're gonna to have to put in a lot more effort than you ever have before in your entire life. This goes way beyond budgeting, tracking expenses, and cutting off bills that you don't need. Y'all already know this because y'all watch this channel. No, I'm talking about focusing on three things, and these three things are personal battles that most people have to face in their lives, and honestly, most of the time, these three are never figured out. I'm talking about mindset, intentionality, and consistency. And these three things boil down to one thing and one thing only, focusing on increasing your income so you don't have to penny pinch. On top of focusing on increasing your income, you're also gonna have to focus on completely letting go of instant gratification. So in all my other videos, how I talk about how we should budget for wants and needs and all that good stuff. Well, in this case, in, in the case of you actually maximizing how much you can save, I will completely take wants out of the equation because wants obviously take away from how much you can save. You can get what you want later. If you can save more now, that can benefit you in the future, especially if you're increasing your income. That car you want, that new TV you want, yeah, all of those can wait. And this requires a strong mindset. You've already got to have in your mind the end result of delaying your gratification right now. You have to know what the end state is going to be. And real quick, I want to tell you guys a story that's going to paint a picture. This is a real life example of how these three things work and why you need all three of them to work in order for you to be successful in doing this. So when I was 21 years old, I started my first full-time position and I knew that I was going to have to start paying my student loans soon. I knew that I had to pay for rent, utilities, groceries, and a bunch of newly found bills of an adult. So basically I knew I had to take care of myself and no one else would. I knew that I was on my own. And I just knew I didn't want to be like the majority who was living paycheck to paycheck. And for me, I was doing extremely well for a 21 year old. I really was. But I had goals, saving goals, investing goals. I wanted to help my family out. And for me, the money from work was just really moving too slow. So I came to the conclusion that I needed another stream of income. So I started my first business where I used my experience from college drumline to teach high schoolers and aspiring college goers to play on the college drumline. And I charged $15 per session. And just so you guys have a quick view of my sessions, there were 30 minutes each. And since 30 minutes is way too short for a drum lesson, typically my customers opted for one hour, which means I made $30 an hour on my own time. So every single month I was making a few extra hundred dollars. And guess what I did with that money? Guess what I did with it? Absolutely nothing. I didn't touch it. I, it just stayed in my savings and it didn't go anywhere. So think about what I'm saving at work and think about what I'm saving in my side business at this point. It's obviously going to grow a lot quicker with this extra stream of income than if I didn't have that extra stream of income. You see what I'm saying? And you know something else? I had a really strong mindset. I had the mindset of, I could either do this the slow way or I can take control. I can start my own gig on the side and make extra money and do it a quicker way, a more smart way. And I can reach my goals a lot faster this way. I was also in the mindset of, hey, I want a lot of things right now, but I'm gonna hold off. And it caused me to wait for two years, two years now, I didn't buy myself anything that I wanted for two years because I was in pursuit of a goal. Even though I could afford it, I delayed my gratification. And you know something else? I had intentionality. I knew exactly where I wanted my business to go. I actually had a definite purpose behind my business and I actually added value to my customers. I also had intentionality behind my financial goals so I didn't deter from them. But you know something I didn't have? I didn't have consistency. And guess what happened to my business because of that? It failed. It lasted three, four months. Max, all because I wasn't consistent. I wasn't consistently promoting my business. I wasn't consistently coming up with new material for my students. I didn't have a consistent availability. So the moral of the story is this brought me short-term results and short-term success, but it wasn't sustainable. You have to have all three of these qualities if you're gonna be successful in saving the maximum amount of money that you can save. That is how you save a lot of money. And those are the qualities that you're gonna to wanna to have if you're gonna increase your income and make more money. But what if you don't wanna start your own business though? What if you don't wanna do anything like that? Well, that was just my example. You don't have to do what the other person does to increase your income. 
but you have to do something. And I'm about to give you a list of examples of what you can do to increase your income. And these examples are simple. So for one, we have overtime at work. This is literally the easiest way to increase your income. And of course, this is going to take a lot of your time and a lot of your effort, but it will get pretty much immediate results. But this will take a lot of your time and a lot of your effort, which is why you have to keep a strong mindset. Especially if you work a job that doesn't really have a limit to how much overtime you can work, it's easy to get used to that extra money all the time and become dependent on it. And then when they cut overtime, then you're mad because you adjusted your lifestyle to that overtime. Don't be that guy. But it's also easy to get burnt out and super tired and not really want to do anything and then give up on the increasing your income altogether. So you want to stay out of that trap too. So it's best to map out how many hours of overtime that you want to work and dedicate yourself to and you want to match that with the amount of money that you want to make from overtime. And it's very easy to give into what I call lifestyle inflation. So my tip to you is if you're making $50,000 a year at your base salary, but your overtime puts you at $70,000 a year, keep the mindset of I make $50,000 a year. The best thing you can do is pretend like the extra money doesn't even exist, put it into your savings account and keep it moving. And also be careful with working too much overtime because if you do, you can end up in a completely different tax bracket and then you'll be looking sick when it comes tax season. On top of this, we have side hustles. Think of painting houses, cutting grass, pressure washing, yard work, anything really dealing with houses. These are the easiest side hustles that anybody can get into and quickly start making money, no matter really what walk of life you're in. If you're a teenager or up, you can make money in doing any of what I just said. And the main reason why is because these have skills that most people already have from a young age. Another relatively easy side hustle to get into is Uber driving. You could even make your talent into a side hustle. You might be really good at drawing and you can charge people for custom designs on shoes, on shirts, on paper, paintings, you name it. You can do all kinds of stuff with art. You might be really good in a certain subject and charge people to tutor them. And you can really monetize off of that if the way that you teach is in such a way that they grasp it a lot easier than the way the teacher teaches it. Just think outside of the box. There's all kinds of stuff you can do. Now this right here, what I'm about to say right now is the absolute best way to increase your income. And I saved this one for last in particular because most people get criticized for this. I've been criticized for this. Just keep in mind, this takes up way more time and effort than anything that I've already listed because this is the one thing that one, does not have immediate results and two, does not promise promise any results at all. If that didn't scare you away, what I'm talking about here is building a passive income stream. This trumps everything that I just talked about because if you do this correctly and if you stay consistent with what you're doing, you will have money hitting your bank account on a regular basis no matter what you're doing, even when you're sleeping. Not to mention the fact that you can make a ton and I mean a ton of money doing this to a point where it can actually even replace your salary. But when you're doing this, be very careful because people might tell you that what you're doing is crazy, that it's not gonna work. And because it doesn't have any immediate results, you might start to feel like it's just a big waste of time. With that said, in my opinion, the best ways to start building a passive stream of income is through YouTube or social media. And I'm talking about Instagram and Facebook specifically. And the reason I'm talking about these platforms is because they're a great place to start building an audience, like an audience that is legitimately invested in you and likes you for you. And honestly, YouTube alone starts to pay you once you hit the threshold of 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. But on top of that though, you can monetize off of YouTube in several, I mean several different ways on top of just their ad pay. You can build an audience and have affiliate links within your description. Someone clicks it, someone buys something from it, guess what, you just earned a commission. You could build a course that your audience will benefit from. I'm working on one right now. You can make an ebook that makes the lives of your audience so much easier. And look, if you didn't really grasp what I just said, I'm about to make a very vivid picture for you. Just to put it into perspective, if you have 1,000 subscribers on YouTube and you make a course and you charge $100 for this course and only 1% of your audience of 1,000 buys it, that means 10 people just bought a $100 course, guess what? That's $1,000 straight profit. And the best part is it's not like you have to be present to sell your course. Like you make the course once, you put it on a platform, people go to said platform, people buy it. So it doesn't matter if you're eating, sleeping, running, walking, lifting weights, doesn't matter. 
the money still hits your account once they hit the button to pay. And that's something else. Like if you make a course on something that a lot of people are always going to need and still need right now, like how to budget, for example, that's what my course is going to be about, how to budget for couples, then it's going to be timeless. That means a year after you made it, two years after you made it, it's still going to be getting sales. And guess what? As your audience grows and they learn about the course and they realize that the course exists, guess what? You're going to get more sales on your course. So as your audience grows, so do your course sales. YouTube is paying you more in ads because you're getting bigger on YouTube. Your course is paying you because you made it a few years ago and it's still benefiting people. And that means more passive income for you. And that's how people start to make those crazy like $4,000, $5,000, $12,000. I've even seen $40,000 in a month. It's ridiculous, man. But it takes time and you might not see results for the longest time. You might be working on something for a year straight, two years straight, and not see any results. But that's why it requires a strong mindset, intentionality, and consistency. You have to have the end in mind. You have to persevere through the adversity of not knowing where you're going to end up or if your project is going to get any kind of results at all. You just have to believe in it, and you really have to believe in yourself. And with that, you have to be consistent. You can't just get in the mood one day, oh, well, I don't know how I feel about it today, so I'm not going to show up today. Do you do that at work? Probably not. So why would you do that for yourself? We're talking about your dreams here. You got to put in just as much energy in your dreams as you do at work, if not more. But, but I could go on passive income all day long i really could i'm so passionate about that topic i could literally talk about it all day but i'm not going to because i have an entire video on it so if you haven't seen it yet check it out it's up here and it's also in the description and i just want y'all to take a quick second and notice i didn't mention anything about budgeting or penny pinching in this video whatsoever these are things that can be good when you're starting out when you're not making a lot of money or where you need to scrape as much money as you possibly can, yeah, that's good for that. But this is what I consider to be an advanced video. People who want to not just learn how to save money, how to save more money, how to save a lot of money. And the best way to do that is to focus on increasing your income. And that takes a lot of effort and a lot of people are not willing to do that. They're just not. So many people get tired after a long day of work, some people are so driven and so hungry to succeed that after work, they work on their side project. They work on their side hustle. They work on their passive income stream. And you know what? Those who persevere and do these things consistently are the ones who are successful. And they more than just save a lot more money. They, they're in, they can do a lot of crazy stuff. A lot of crazy stuff. Giveaways retreats, all kinds of stuff. And you'll see, you'll see once you put the stuff I'm talking about into practice, just like I am, I, I practice what I preach. So once you put this stuff into practice and you start to see results, you'll see that everything, and I mean everything that I just said is 100% true. And you'll see that it's so much easier to save whatever your savings goals are. It doesn't matter how ridiculous you think or other people think they are, you can attain them. You can obtain them 100% and you'll do it exponentially faster than if you were just budgeting, tracking your expenses, cutting bills, yeah. That's a good way to start, but that's also the slow way. We don't, we don't, you know what I'm saying? We don't, we're, this video is not about doing it slow. To that point though, if you're gonna talk about building passive income, that can be a very slow process. It's very much like planting a tree or any other type of plant that takes several months or years to grow. It, sometimes it's gonna take you a while, but the benefits, I can't even, look, just watch my passive income video. You'll see the benefits, <laughs> you'll see the benefits. Anyways, that wraps up the video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. My name is Reggie Bryant. This channel is all about personal growth and personal finance so that you can control you, control your finances, and control your life. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I will see you in the next one. Stay cold. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe.